how do people come up with this stuff? Like there are people in like offices somewhere coming up with this. That's really sad. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Sharon. I'm doing it again. That's right. Uh, we're watching Five Minute Crafts period hacks. I just can't get enough of them. And apparently I'm not the only one. I'm looking at you, sis. I mean, I get it. It's a mix of curiosity and amusement and skepticism. A lot of skepticism. <laughs> that more than anything. So that being said, go grab your snacks and go grab some tea and let's get into this. Which by the way, if you enjoy this video, you can check out more episodes on my channel. So subscribe and make sure those post notifications are turned on so you don't miss out. I also have a second channel for commentary videos. But anyways, to the disappointment, um, I, I meant five minute crafts. Silly me. <laughs> okay, so sis is on the toilet. Sis, there is glitter coming out of her coochie and she has taken her sock off. What is that? In a... An adhesive? You're telling me. I'm getting my period, which I'm assuming is what the glitter is. Because real talk, if you have glitter coming out of your coochie like that, go to the hospital. Anyways, I'm in the bathroom. I get my period. Instead of like, I don't know, using toilet paper and wrapping it up as like a makeshift pad, I'm just gonna take the sock off my foot that I've been sweating into, stinking up, and put that on my coochie. Oh, and the best part is that I'm gonna pull out an adhesive. Where did she pull it up from? She doesn't even have a purse on her. Now your coochie's gonna smell like a sweaty sock. That's disgusting. <laughs> What's up, sis? She on the toilet? What happened? Oh my, is that blood or is that hair? Did she just put it? What? What was the hack? Let me get this straight. So sis had a pad on, pad was bloody, took off the pad and there was another pad under it. The hack was to put another pad on top of that pad and not even use the wings. The wings are the most helpful part. Why not just use the pad that was already on there. You know, I'm not in the mood to lose brain cells over this. I'm good. It seems like you're just wasting a pad no matter what. So, all right. She drinking some tea. What happened? Oh, you got those cramps. You got, did you just, she ain't even in the bathroom stall. Hold up. This girl is in a public restroom. Just holding up her bloody period underwear in the mirror. You imagine walking in on that? And then she pulls out the cup from her bra. And she pulls out scissors. Where did those scissors come from? She didn't even have a purse. Are you making your own little pad? What is that? To go, okay. Yeah, everything's fine and dandy, huh? Where'd you put those scissors that you had? Here's a crazy idea. If you're in a public restroom, one, don't take out your bloody panties and start wailing them around in front of the mirror for everyone to see. Uh, two, grab some toilet paper, wrap it up, make yourself a little makeshift pad instead of destroying your bra cup to use as a pad. Do you know how expensive bras are? I simply would have used the toilet paper. That is not mine. Okay, ooh, ooh, the pad mark. Been there, done that. So we're taking some pantyhose. Okay, I mean, yeah, so the pad mark doesn't show. That's not bad. Personally, I think it would be easier to get some biker shorts. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. There's always easier ways around this five minute crafts. We don't have to destroy everything we own. Okay, we got some underwear, we got a pad. Okay, some strawberry juice on a pad. Yeah, it spilled through, shocker. You like just drenched that thing. Baby powder? What is that supposed to do, collect the liquid? You did not pour as violently as you did. How is that supposed to work? If you were to pour baby powder on your panties before sticking a pad on there, isn't that gonna make the pad not sticky anymore? Cause now the sticky stuff is covered in baby powder instead of sticking to your underwear. Does that make too much sense for five minute crafts or am I missing something? Personally, if you are leaking this much, you gotta up a pad size or you gotta try something else. Maybe try a tampon and a pad, period underwear. Actually, if you are bleeding this much through your Pads. Maybe you should go see a gyno instead of five minute crafts. What's wrong, sis? You got those period cramps. Tell me about it. Yup. Oh, the fetal position. Yes. Always. What is she? What are you doing with that pen? Does that work? Really? A pencil in my... Oh, that's interesting kind of like tingly, but I don't feel it in my uterus or like my tummy or anything like that. I, listen, a heating pad. Yes, heating pad for cramps. This, this is like, I don't know. If you like ASMR, this is great. <laughs> if you got period cramps, maybe not so great. Toilet flush, oh my God, period blood in the toilet. Ooh, yeah, blood is so scary. So what are we doing? Are we putting toilet paper? Yes, we are. Yeah, okay. This, I'll give it to him. 
it's a worthy hack. If you don't want to leave like little blood stains or um number two stains on the toilet, put some toilet paper down so it falls on that. And when it flushes, it flushes it on the toilet paper. That was actually helpful, five minute crafts. Good job. So proud of you. Round of applause for five minute crafts for actually giving us a hack. Sis is on the couch. Oh, she's mad. She's upset. What is he doing? He grabbed her. I'm sorry, what is he doing? He grabbed her heating pad and a roll of duct tape. What happens when the pad is no longer warm anymore? Now I gotta like take off this gigantic wad of duct tape around my waist as if I was like a prisoner somewhere to then heat it up and then be wrapped around again as if I was like a prisoner. Really? Like you couldn't have thought of anything better than wrapping a heating pad around your uterus or your waist with duct tape. A belt? Yeah, the duct tape, it's giving like, you know, it's giving, I'm concerned about what that man is doing. Why'd he just have duct tape like that? And why did he feel so comfortable wrapping his girlfriend in duct tape like that? Hmm, these are the real questions. She is, ooh, she leaking. Yeah, that's racist. That's what happens when we wear white. We just can't wear white ever. So we're taking a pad, we're putting it in our underwear, and then we are, why are we doing that? How? What did that do? You still have a stain on your white pants. What did that red tape do to solve the stain? I don't understand and I really want to, but I have no idea what they were trying to accomplish here. <laughs> you know what the solution is? Which she did. The solution is, oh my gosh, I bled through. There's a stain on my white pants. And then we're just gonna fast forward past the tape stuff because it makes absolutely no sense. Here's the solution, are you ready? She sat down and she kept her legs crossed. That's the real solution if you can't get a period stain out or change your pants. Instead of putting duct tape on your panties. What happens is, oh, you got a big leak on your dress. What you gonna do about it? Huh? You're gonna tie it in a knot. I mean, I would definitely be suspicious if I saw that for sure. Cause I'd be like, why you got a big knot in the middle of your dress? But I guess if it covers the stain, but now I know that that's what you're doing. Cause I saw five minute crafts. So <laughs> I know your secret. Oh no, she gotta go. And what's wrong? <gasps> the toilet is out of order. What is she gonna do about it? You're bleeding. You can't do, what are you doing? She brought a plastic bag. Is that kitty litter? Shut your mouth, shut up. There is, there is no way, dude. Oh my God, I can't. Cause yeah, I'm in a public restroom. I really gotta go. I am bleeding, I am peeing myself. Toilet is out of order, so what am I gonna do? I'm gonna go find a gigantic plastic bag to put over the toilet and I'm gonna go find some kitty litter to then pee or bleed in the kitty litter? <laughs> Let me just run down to the market. Okay, five minute crafts. You imagine coming out of the stall with just a bag full of kitty litter and your bodily fluids and someone just seeing you. Oh, out of order, but don't worry. <laughs> I left some kitty litter in there for you. At that point, just get a litter box. So we got a little towel and tape. For what? A pad. No leak. Okay, so like, I, ha I have a couple questions. So let's say I'm in the bathroom I'm at, I'm at school and I just got my period and I don't have a pad on me. Where am I supposed to pull out a tiny towel from and a gigantic wad of tape from to create a makeshift pad? It's almost like I should just use this toilet paper on this toilet paper roll in the bathroom that I am in. Instead of stressing over a towel and some tape, am I supposed to just pull that out of my pocket? These are supposed to be hacks. They're walking, they're walking, they ran into each other. Oh my gosh, he saw a tampon. He's like, ew, what? A tampon, that's nasty. And she ran away. And now she created a little compartment to hide her tampons and her pads. Cause you know, you can't let a grown man know that you as a woman have a period. Really? In my own purse, I have to hide period products in my own purse to get this crusty guy to think I'm cute. And you wanna know why I'm calling him crusty? Because a real man is not gonna be disgusted by your period. This grown man is easily like 25 to 30, anywhere from that. If you are disgusted by a tampon at that grown age, you don't wanna date them. That's not a man, that's a child. Girls and women bleed y'all. What are we gonna do about it? It's not like it was a dirty, like blood filled pad tampon anyways, so. I don't know, I'm just saying um, in my own purse, I'm not hiding my period products because it's my own purse. You shouldn't even be hiding them anyways. But besides that, she's asking her friend for something. You need a pad, isn't it? She just pulled out a box of pads. Where did that come from? Under the table? That was an entire box. 
I mean, good on you for saying stag, like respect. So we're grabbing um, a jelly bean box instead and we're sticking panty liners in it. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's less suspicious. Not to be dramatic, if I see someone at a table uh, grab like a little bean boozled box from their friend and be like, oh, thanks, hee hee hee, and then take that to the bathroom, I'm not gonna think that they're eating jelly beans in the bathroom. Um, I'm gonna think that they're doing D-R-U-G-S in the bathroom. That's my first thought wholeheartedly, cause really dude, come on. Did you need to do all that to hide panty liners? As if like, if you really, really wanted to hide panty liners, you're telling me you can't just, oh my gosh. Hide a pan liner. Oh my gosh, I'm hiding a pan liner. You had to stick it in a bean boozled box. I'm thinking you're doing some hard stuff in the bathroom for sure. <laughs> I know, it's that PMS. It happens. Look at that, what a caring man. We support him, maybe. What's he gonna do? He's made chamomile tea, yes. Mint and lemon. Okay, okay, mommy and grass, I see you. Yes, absolutely. Um, Throw in some ginger in there and we're good to go. This, this is the man you want. Not that guy who's gonna be grossed out by a tampon falling out of your purse. You want this man. He's gonna bring you tea and be like, I get it, you bleed. The bare minimum, really, goals. Sadly, the bar is like on the ground. <laughs> so what's wrong? She's got my toilet. Oh, sweet relief. What? Someone's trying to come in, what are you gonna do? You're gonna put your purse on it. That's how you keep someone from opening the door instead of being like, hey, someone's in here. Or instead of, I don't know, locking the door cause like that looks like a pretty nice door to me. You're telling me that lock doesn't work. You just have to pull on it while you're trying to pee. <sighs> Y'all are so bored five minute crafts. You have way too much time on your hands. Like what's wrong? She got period cramps. You gotta sleep in the fetal position. Always. What is she gonna do about it? I she was about, ah, ah, she just stole his pillow. <laughs> That's so wrong. I mean, listen, this sleeping position is great. This does wonders for cramps and for like your spine in general. So yeah, do this. Always sleep with a pillow in between your knees if you're sleeping on your side, regardless of if you're on your period or not. But can we just talk about how she literally stole that pillow from her man? <laughs> I mean, he's not dealing with period cramps, so. We're at a party, we're all chatting, and she's wearing white, and she sneezed. You got your period, didn't you? Yup. Yup. There it is. What you gonna do about it? Was that a Coca-Cola? Let me just grab a bucket at this random house party I'm at, and a can of Coca-Cola, and spray the Coca-Cola on my pants to get the stain out? Wait 30 minutes and wash. Stop. I'm at a party. You're telling me I have to wait 30 minutes with a bucket full of my bloody pants and Coca-Cola and then hope that I can wash it somewhere and then come back to the party all willy-nilly and normal as heck. For real? Are we not gonna talk about the fact that Coca-Cola got the stains out like that? You're telling me we drink that? So what's it doing to our tongue? I'm good, ain't even gonna sweat it, but I am gonna sweat how I'm at this party pantsless because I'm waiting for my pants in the dryer. Okay, <laughs> what happens sis? You got no pockets. They really should make pockets from dresses. I know, it's a crime as a girl. What are you doing? What are you? Yeah, because this is so much easier. Um, you know, if you can sew, this would be great. Except when you put on these panties with a pocket for your pads and then you have a bulging coochie because you got those thick overnight pads with wings. How is that supposed to help me five minute crafts? I'm, she literally, right here, just right here. Slide it in right there. Or here's a crazy, absolutely insane idea. Hold it. It is just a pad. It is not illegal. But no, instead you have to go find a mini sewing kit and make yourself a little pocket. You know what? Let's be for real. We would not have to do this if clothing companies simply gave us pockets. So to be honest, I'm not supposed to be angry at five minute crafts. I'm supposed to be angry at those clothing companies. Do better. But anyways, <sighs> that was a lot. It's sad and crazy because of like those 30 hacks, maybe only two of them actually made sense. I don't know if we're getting better, if we're getting worse, five minute crafts. All I know is those poor employees. I could never admit to someone that I was a five minute crafts actor. <laughs> Imagine meeting someone and they're like, oh yeah, I'm the woman that pretends I'm pushing strawberries out of my coochie on Facebook Reels. <laughs> I could never. But anyways, today's shout out of the day goes to Becca. Thanks so much for being here. <laughs> if you want a chance to be shout out of the day, just make sure you follow me on my Instagram and leave a comment on my most recent post. And while you're at it, make sure to follow my TikTok as well for bonus content. And if you want to binge more videos like this, I have a couple more episodes on my channel. So make sure you subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you don't miss more of this 
cringiness that is five minute crafts. <laughs> and if you want even more tea, you can check out my second channel where I have some commentary videos as well. All that being said, I love you. Stop listening to five minute crafts and always have extra period goodies. Bye.